Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I thought I would kind of review five bags in my collection that I, bags that I do love, okay, do not get me wrong, I love these bags. However, bags in my collection that if, if I were to like change things, I could love them even more, you know what I mean? Maybe even like 10 times more, but you know. So that's what we're gonna do with five of my bags today. So yeah, ironically so, four out of five of these bags are Chanel bags. And I think that's really funny that basically some of my Chanel bags aren't perfect. But anyways, if you guys are interested to see which bags that if I could alter them, I would just keep watching. Okay, so I'm just gonna start with the only Louis Vuitton bag that I have. And ironically, my very, very first luxury handbag that I ever got it in is going to be my Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 in the Damier Bean. So as you guys know, if you guys have been following me for a while, this is the first luxury bag I've ever had. I'm never going to sell this. I know there's a lot of people that, and I respect it too, are like minimalist thinking or they think in their head, if I'm not using a bag, then I need to sell it. Like I don't wanna have money sitting on the shelf and which I do agree, but the thing is like, I know that there's kind of this thing where it's like, are you a bag collector? Or like, do you wanna use bags? But the thing is like, I am a bag collector. Like I love collecting bags. Like Romina Rose May, like she's a bag collector as well. Anyways, I'm getting off topic. So I'm never gonna sell this But if I could change this I would honestly get this in a smaller size I would love to get this in the b25 size I mean in the 25 size and I would get this in the bandolier Honestly, I'd be fine with either. I think I would significantly not think I know that I would use this way more if this was in the smaller size This is just way too big as an everyday bag I don't even know how I was able to use this when I was younger Like it's just so big if you've never seen this in person before I feel like the camera doesn't capture how big this is This is really just like a little tiny suitcase to be honest, like if you added a strap to this, I would think it's like a gym bag, but obviously not a gym bag because it's like a Louis Vuitton bag, you know what I mean? Oh, it's just like I have an organizer for it, which I thought would make me use it more. Nope, not at all. It's just way too big. If not for the B25, even just the 20, it just, this needs to be smaller. Uh, but again, I have so much like sentimental attachment to this bag, which is why I would never sell it. But yeah, I wonder if anyone, because I know that 30 was so many people's like back in what like 2008 2009 so many people had the 30 like on youtube the 30 was the it size and yeah i wonder if anyone uses this size because i don't see anyone use this size anymore not even like if, if i'm at the mall or when i watch youtube videos and people are talking about their speedies everyone's like most worn speedy is their b25 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 and yeah so if i could change it i would get the b25 but the price points now are insane i think i honestly don't remember because my mom did give this to me as a gift when i was younger but i know for sure it was like less than 600 dollars or like less than 700 dollars for sure for this bag because this was like way 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 back in the day but yes okay so i guess i'll just go from like oldest to newest this bag actually i've thought about this a lot so this is the original boy bag in the lambskin so when this bag first came out i know everybody has ruthenium hardware with the caviar leather but like that is the most popular like anytime i see like black with ruthenium with this bag nine times out of ten most people have the caviar one and i love the caviar one don't get me wrong but this was like the original one when this first came out it was lambskin and it had obviously the ruthenium hardware so this is the old medium size yeah because the new medium is bigger this is old medium size don't get me wrong i love this bag i love how classic it is even though it's like edgy or whatever but if i could alter this like if there was a trade-in system where if i could give this to them they can give me a new bag and then give me the difference that would be phenomenal so i would actually get this in the small size is it the mini i think it's called like the small boy so if you guys know i actually used to have the small boy in the caviar with kind of like the age gold hardware and the navy blue but i was just never reaching for it the color combination you would think it would match with a lot of things but for some reason it just didn't go with anything for me personally the number one things that i would change is obviously the size i would get this in the smaller size and i would for sure get it in chevron i just think the boy bags in chevron are to die for and then i would also get it with champagne gold hardware instead of aged aged any hardware i mean silver would be nice but i would love champagne gold hardware in either like the creamy white colors like the muted just any color there's just so many different variations of the small boy so yeah if you guys are debating between 
just the Chanel boy in general. Um, yeah, go with Chevron, please, and thank you so much. But I do believe that Chevron is slightly more expensive. Um, I think it's maybe like $200 more expensive, or at least the bags that I look at, the Chevron is always like slightly more expensive. So, yes. Oh, and then this one, I also do have a smorgasbord on the inside just to keep it shaped because I know every single time I watch somebody's like Chanel boy bag videos, every single person I know their boy bag is either squished together and then this part is like crepey. I've had this bag for around five years now and I mean I'm not really aggressive with this bag so maybe that's why like I don't squeeze it uh, between my arms or anything like that but yeah mine is still holding up perfectly like literally so perfectly so yeah okay so the next one the next one the next one so my mom got me this for my I think my 24th my 24th birthday maybe my 25th birthday i don't remember um but she surprised me with this and i was like i was so, was so shocked but anyways this is not a history lesson so this is my business affinity backpack this is a seasonal backpack so let me tell you how it changes first of all i love that this is caviar leather and i actually heard so the difference between the older so this is the older business affinity bags and the newer business affinity oh business affinity backpack sorry correction is that the old ones so mine the entire bag is leather like on the inside Side, it's all leather whereas the newer ones i heard that obviously the outside is leather and i think the inside is fabric lining is what i heard but i would actually get the smaller version of this just because don't get me wrong like i love how big this is this is so casual like i can use i can feel so much in here you don't even understand i don't feel like you can even understand the volume that this bag holds the only issue is that because of the size i feel like it's a little bit too casual for my liking not that i hate that it's casual again all these bags i love and adore it's just yeah and i also would get this in white so recently i saw I think it came out maybe a couple months ago they actually have a smaller version of the business affinity backpack like they just released it i think within the last year um whereas before when this seasonal backpack would come out it was just this size and now they have a smaller version of this so i would definitely get this in white in the smaller version just because i already have my uh what is it my urban spirit backpack in the tiny one in black so i would love to get this in a white one just to kind of have some variety i still love this backpack to death like to death to death to death the only one of the sad things let me just show you is that the zippers are like tarnishing a little bit oh wait can you guys see it i really don't know so this one right here there's like a little there's like a black mark on it which kind of bothers me it actually bothers me a lot but you know what can you do what can you do but yes okay so two more chanel bags okay so this bag my chanel 19 in the bright coral color i really don't use this bag a lot i try to use this bag at least once a month and it's just i just don't know what it is so this is the thing i have gone back and forth before when everybody started getting into the 19 bag every single person was like the smaller one the smaller one the smaller one you can use it for every day da, da, da. it's like i don't need to use this for every day that's not really my issue i have so many everyday bags that it, that's not even it it's just i honestly wish i got the bigger size in this like i watch i got the maxi the current price of the maxi i think is like the price that i paid for this one almost like i'll find the price for this obviously this is the large size and at the time when i bought it the large chanel 19 was 5300 i think with tax i paid like 56 something but i believe the smaller one i mean this the large size it's so confusing because it's chanel 19 chanel 19 large and then chanel 19 maxi yeah so the large size was 5300 i believe but anyway so the things that i would change about this i so i initially got this in goat skin and they actually don't make chanel 19s in goat skin anymore i don't know at least when i bought this i found out a couple months later that they were no longer making chanel 19s in goat skin anyways if i could change this i actually would get this in lamb skin and i was so set on getting the chanel 19 in goat skin on purpose so like the durability if you've ever touched goat goat skin it's just like so easy to use like it's shiny like i just love it to death when i touched the chanel 19 in lamb skin i was like this is the softest thing ever and i want it i want it i want it i want it so yeah i would change this and get this in white if i could make this like my perfect chanel 19 either in the white color or in like 
the gray color and then also the maxi size so i actually just saw on the chanel website that they have a maxi with now their new updated version of the chanel 19 to like switch it up so normally in general all chanel 19s used to come with the gold hardware as the cc logo but the newer ones actually have silver hardware and i think it looks so sick so modern so i honestly would be totally down to sell this one and get that exact maxi i think the gray is just like super neutral and i can use it to put my laptop in and yeah so i know a lot of people would change their chanel 19 or their favorite chanel 19 is the smaller size just because it's so like everyday friendly but i just wish this was bigger i really really wish this was bigger so i can actually like put my computer or like a bunch of ipads in here like i can fit regular ipads but yes and the color i there was this weird phase I was going through the pandemic where all I wanted was color because I had so many like browns and blacks that I was like, you know what? I want to add color in my collection. I want my collection to be special. But when it comes to a bag like this, I I wish I did get a more neutral color. So that's like my only regret. But I still love this bag. Don't get me wrong. I still love, love, love the Chanel 19. I really want a bigger one. So, you never know. Okay, guys. So my last one. This one is pretty easy. So one of my top three pride and joys so this is the thing i love this bag like you don't understand so this is the chanel classic flap in the medium size and i believe it is in lambskin i honestly don't remember but i'm 99 percent sure this is in lambskin with silver hardware so my favorite thing about this is because the silver hardware makes this shade of like neon blue this color is called neon blue pop way more i feel like it just goes so well together if I could change this, like if I had to take out this flap and they could just sub me with a brand new other one, you would think I would say the black caviar with gold hardware because obviously, duh, that is my dream bag. But if I could swap this out for a color though and change the size, I would get this in the small size, champagne gold hardware with the iridescent pink. So Jerusha and i forgot this one other girl has the bag too but i'm just gonna jerusha is the only person that i can remember that on youtube that has it they had this iridescent pink collection one year and that has been my all-time favorite just like pink shade color whatever that chanel has ever came out with so if i were to sub out this colored classic flap and put in another color and alter the size it would for sure be that bag like in the smaller size i just feel like color works better when it's smaller because it's not like the main focus whereas even though the small and the medium are in general like very similar in size but yeah so if i can alter this i would make it the small with the iridescent pink oh my god and then the gold the champagne gold hardware it would be divine i feel like that'd be the most beautiful bag on the planet i mean i think it is one of the like the prettiest color combinations ever if you have never seen it like y'all miss it out but yeah but don't get me wrong i still love this bag so much i rarely use this bag just because i don't know i just feel like it's so fancy but yeah pride and joy never gonna sell this love it love it love it Alrighty guys so we have come to the end of today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it so yeah i just find it really funny that so many of these bags are chanel which means that it's just like because uh. do you ever just like look at your collection even though you love the bag and you when you bought it you were like fully in love and you're like <sighs> it's just kind of like when you've been in a long-term relationship and then you look at the other person and you're like because in the beginning you're in that honeymoon phase like oh my god i love you so much you're perfect da -da -da -da. and then the long-term relationship starts happening and you start looking at them and you're like hmm if i could change one thing about you you know i would you know i would <laughs> but yes so if you guys have any questions about the bags that i have mentioned in today's video please feel free to leave them down below as always if you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe it really helps with my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys